thank you very much, uh, Amy. Uh, it's great to be here today to, to support all of you. I wish I didn't have to be here, but I, I want to congratulate Amy for her efforts. Uh, last uh, spring, late in the spring, I started hearing more and more about Dr. Zamboni's treatment and angioplasty. And through the summer, I learned a lot from Amy. As she said, she was sending me uh, videos and documents, and, and I was reading a lot. And I, I learned more about a medical procedure than I ever thought that I would learn about any medical procedure. And there was a debate in the, in the House of Commons late uh, in, the, in the spring, so I learned a lot more about it at, at that time. Amy was really the one who pushed this to, to me to, to learn a lot about it because I knew some folks here in, in Leeds and Grenville who have been afflicted with MS and as I started hearing about angioplasty and as a treatment that could actually make an, an impact and help people's lives and when I saw the videos of some of the people who were benefiting from it and, and I, I know some people have even from here who have now been able to take advantage of it and, and uh, actually has made a, a difference in their lives. I knew it was something that I get had to get behind. Uh, we, there was a rally on Parliament Hill uh, in September and uh, I had the opportunity to speak at that rally and there was there was members of Parliament from all parties. And I don't, don't want to make this a political issue because this is people's health issue and, it, and it's nothing to do with political parties and, and uh, members from the House of Commons from all sides see this as something that we need to be pushing. So I've got behind it. I have offered to help in any way possible. Steve and I went and, and met with Amy back in the summer at her kitchen table. We talked about how we could push this issue forward. I think that it has really become a forefront issue in Ottawa from members from all sides. As, like I said, I don't want this to be political. I want to see a difference made I know that uh, some provinces are already approving clinical trials. We're hoping, uh, and I, I and, and my colleagues inside the government, as well as opposition members, are, are pushing to see uh, more and more support to ensure that Canadians that are afflicted with MS, if there is a pro procedure that's going to improve their lives, that we get behind it and make sure that it happens. I uh, have been able to, to do that and push it. I, I've been proud of the efforts of, of myself and, and many of my colleagues in the House to push that. I'm going to continue to do that. I'm going to continue to work with Amy and anyone else from Leeds and Grenville that wants me to, to help. I, I'm trying to be a strong advocate for the people here in our riding who, who know about this and I'm there to help. It, it's my job as your Member of Parliament to do anything I can to help you and I am there to do that. I know what did table a petition in the House of Commons. I've continued to speak to our health minister to make sure that this is a top of mind issue in the Canadian Parliament. And I know that it's not just the federal government, it's obviously the provincial governments that administer the health care system that are now starting to climb on board. So, um, Amy, congratulations to you. I, I'm going to stick around. I want to hear uh, some of the stories of some of the people who are going to speak today. I know that my good friend Steve Clark, he got behind it as well. He'll tell you what he's been doing. Thank you for the invitation to be here today. I'm there to help. And uh, thank you for all of your efforts, Amy.